In the year 2424, humanity had undergone a remarkable transformation. The invention of the step coin had revolutionized the world's economy. In this new age, every step taken by a human was converted into digital currency, precisely one dollar. It seemed like a dream come true, an incentive for a healthier, more active lifestyle. However, the catch was significant. The cost of living had skyrocketed to a hundredfold. This peculiar economy had reshaped society in ways no one could have anticipated. Miles, a young, ambitious man, lived in this world where his daily jog wasn't just for fitness, but his financial survival. He resided in a modest apartment in a bustling metropolis, where the streets were always filled with people, walking, running, always moving. The city had adapted to this new way of life. Treadmills lined cafes and workplaces. Parks were redesigned into intricate mazes to maximize walking distances, and public transport was almost non-existent. In this world, movement was currency and stagnation was the enemy of survival. Miles worked at a tech firm, a job he had secured thanks to his degree in computer science. But his real passion lay in his side hustle, designing apps for optimizing walking routes to earn maximum step coins. His life was a delicate balance of work, exercise and sleep with little room for leisure. Despite the constant physical activity, he barely made enough to cover his living expenses, which were exorbitant due to the inflated economy. One day, while Miles was on his usual evening jog, he stumbled upon an old, forgotten part of the city. The buildings were dilapidated, the streets eerily empty. In this neglected neighborhood, he discovered an old man sitting on a porch, seemingly unaffected by the world's obsession with movement. Intrigued, Miles stopped to converse with the old man, breaking his stride for the first time in years. The old man, whose name was Elijah, shared stories of the world before step coins. He spoke of a time when people walked for the sheer joy of it, not out of necessity. As they talked, Miles realized how much of his life was governed by the pursuit of step coins. He yearned for the freedom that Elijah described, a freedom from the shackles of this economic system. But as night fell, Miles knew he had to return to his routine, lest he fall behind in his earnings. The encounter with Elijah planted a seed of doubt in Miles' mind. He began to question the sustainability of this system, where human value was measured in steps. His doubts grew as he noticed the widening gap between those who could afford to rest and those who couldn't. He saw people collapse from exhaustion, their bodies unable to keep up with the relentless demand for movement. Miles knew something had to change, but he felt powerless against the vast, invisible machinery of the economy. Driven by a newfound purpose, Miles began to use his skills for more than just optimizing walking routes. He started researching, diving into the origins of the step coin system, looking for loopholes, weaknesses, anything that could be used to bring about change. He spent his nights poring over data, his days discussing ideas with like-minded colleagues, fueled by the hope of creating a more equitable world. As Miles delved deeper into his research, he uncovered troubling facts about the origins of step coins. There were rumors, whispers of a clandestine group that controlled the step coin system, manipulating the economy for their gain. The more he learned, the more he realized the danger of what he was getting into. But he couldn't stop now, he was too far gone, driven by a burning desire to uncover the truth. One evening, as he was leaving his office, Miles noticed he was being followed. A sense of unease crept over him as he quickened his pace. He zigzagged through the crowded streets, his heart pounding, every step echoing with a mix of fear and determination. He knew he was on the brink of a significant discovery, one that could change everything. But the shadows that trailed him were a stark reminder of the risks he was taking. As Miles reached an abandoned warehouse, a place he had chosen for its seclusion, he turned to confront his pursuer. In the dim light, he could barely make out the figure, but he knew this was the moment of truth. The revelation he had uncovered was about to be exposed, and with it the potential to alter the course of society. But just as he was about to speak, a sudden noise echoed through the warehouse, and the figure vanished into the shadows. Miles was left alone, his heart racing, the weight of his discovery heavy on his shoulders. He knew he couldn't turn back now, but the path ahead was fraught with danger and uncertainty. As he stood there contemplating his next move, a message flashed on his phone, a cryptic warning that sent chills down his spine. It read, They know. Miles realized then that his journey had only just begun, and the true challenge lay ahead. The fight for a better world was far from over, and he was at the center of it. With the darkness closing in around him, 
Miles braced himself for what was to come, unaware of the twists and turns that awaited him in his quest for justice. Miles' discovery of the clandestine group controlling the stepcoin system had thrust him into a world of intrigue and danger. The cryptic warning on his phone was clear. He was no longer just a curious bystander, but a threat to a powerful and shadowy organization. Determined to expose the truth, Miles knew he needed allies, people who shared his vision for a fairer society. He reached out to his colleagues at the tech firm, cautiously sharing his findings. Among them was Ava, a brilliant data analyst, who had also noticed irregularities in the stepcoin system. She too had grown skeptical of the world's over-reliance on this economic model. Together they formed a small group, each member bringing unique skills to their cause. Their goal was to gather undeniable proof of the manipulation and bring it to light. Their investigation led them to the heart of the stepcoin system. Ava's expertise in data analysis allowed them to trace the flow of digital currency, revealing patterns that pointed to deliberate manipulation. The more they uncovered, the more apparent it became that the stepcoin system wasn't just a societal trend, but a controlled mechanism for maintaining a certain social order. While digging through layers of encrypted files and covert transactions, they stumbled upon a name that repeatedly appeared in the shadows of their findings, the Walker's Guild. This elusive group seemed to be the puppet masters behind the stepcoin economy, benefiting from the endless cycle of earning and spending that had ensnared society. As their investigation deepened, Miles and his team realized the danger they were in. They had to be cautious, operating in secret, often meeting in obscure locations to avoid detection. They knew they were being watched, that every step they took was possibly being monitored. But the necessity of their mission drove them forward. Despite the risk, their breakthrough came when they managed to hack into a secure server, revealing a trove of documents that laid bare the inner workings of the Walker's Guild. The documents contained plans for further controlling the population through stepcoins, including proposals for even more draconian measures to keep people moving. With this damning evidence in hand, Miles knew they had to act fast. They planned to leak the documents to the media, exposing the Walker's Guild and the true nature of the stepcoin system. But just as they were about to execute their plan, they were betrayed. One of their own, driven by fear and the promise of a lavish reward, had informed the Walker's Guild of their activities. In a swift and brutal move, the group's safe house was raided. Ava and the others were captured, but Miles narrowly escaped, thanks to a last-minute warning from a sympathetic member of the Guild, who had begun to question their motives. Now a fugitive, Miles was forced into the shadows, moving through the city's underbelly, a world he had never known. He was alone, his friends imprisoned, their plans in ruins. But the fire within him had not dimmed. He knew he had to continue their mission to honor the sacrifice of his friends and the hope of a better future. As he navigated the dark alleys and back streets, Miles pieced together a new plan. He needed to find a way to release the documents to the public. But with the Walker's Guild on high alert, Every move he made was fraught with peril. He reached out to underground networks, activists who had long opposed the stepcoin regime, seeking their help in disseminating the information. Amidst this chaos, Miles received an unexpected message. It was from Ava, who had managed to send a coded message from her confinement. She revealed that the Walker's Guild had a far more sinister plan in the works, something that would tighten their grip on society beyond anything they had imagined. The urgency of the situation hit Miles like a wave, propelling him to take even greater risks. As he prepared to make his move, a sudden realization dawned on him. The sympathetic member of the Walker's Guild who had warned him about the raid could be the key to bringing the entire organization down. But who was this mysterious ally and could they be trusted? Miles knew that this individual could either be his greatest asset or a formidable trap set by his enemies. The night was dark as Miles made his way to a secret meeting with this mysterious figure. His heart was racing, the weight of his mission pressing down on him. As he approached the designated spot, a figure emerged from the shadows. A figure whose identity would change everything Miles thought he knew about, the Walker's Guild, and his fight for justice. The air was thick with tension as Miles faced this enigmatic individual, ready to confront whatever truth lay ahead. But just as the figure was about to speak, a sudden explosion rocked the area, throwing Miles to the ground. As he struggled to regain his senses, he realized that this was no ordinary meeting. It was a trap, and he had walked right into it. Amidst the chaos and confusion, Miles scrambled to his feet, his mind racing with questions and fear. Who had set the trap? Was it the Walker's Guild, or someone else entirely? And what about the mysterious figure, friend or foe? 
As the smoke cleared, Miles found himself at a crossroads, his next decision crucial to his survival and the fate of his cause. He took a deep breath, steadying himself for what was to come. With the future of society hanging in the balance, Miles prepared to face the unknown, ready to confront the dangers that lay ahead. The truth was out there and he was determined to uncover it, no matter the cost. But as he stepped forward into the uncertainty, he couldn't shake the feeling that he was being drowned deeper into a web of intrigue that was far more complex and perilous than he had ever imagined. In the aftermath of the explosion, the air was thick with smoke and confusion. Miles, dazed but determined, pushed himself to his feet, his mind racing to piece together what had just happened. The trap had been set with precision, suggesting that the Walker's Guild was more formidable than he had ever imagined. He needed to escape, to regroup and plan his next move. As he stumbled through the chaos, Miles' thoughts were on the mysterious figure he was supposed to meet. Friend or foe, their identity remained a mystery, a puzzle piece in the larger scheme that he desperately needed to understand. But there was no time to ponder. Survival was his immediate concern. Narrowly evading the security forces that swarmed the area, Miles found refuge in an abandoned building. Here, in the quiet darkness, he allowed himself a moment to think, to strategize. He realized that his lone efforts were not enough to take down the Walker's Guild. He needed to rally the public, to expose the truth to the world, and ignite a movement that could not be silenced. With renewed resolve, Miles set out to contact the underground networks once again. Utilizing his tech skills, he crafted a secure broadcast, a message that would reveal the true nature of the Walker's Guild and their manipulative control over society. He included the evidence he and his team had gathered along with Ava's message about the Guild's ominous new plan. The broadcast went viral, spreading like wildfire across the city and beyond. People were shocked and outraged by the revelations. Protests erupted in the streets, a sea of citizens united against the tyranny of the Walker's Guild. The society that had been complacent in its step-driven routine was now awakened, its eyes opened to the manipulation they had been subjected to. As the movement grew, the Guild's grip on society began to weaken. Their attempts to suppress the uprising only fueled the public's anger, but the Guild was not about to relinquish control easily. They launched a counter-campaign discrediting Miles and his team labeling them as terrorists and threats to societal stability. Miles knew that the final confrontation was imminent. He needed to find the key to dismantling the Walker's Guild once and for all. His thoughts returned to the mysterious figure from the meeting, the person who had tried to reach out to him. Could they hold the answer to bringing down the Guild? Determined to find out, Miles arranged a secret meeting through his underground contacts. This time, he would be prepared for any trap. He chose a secluded location, away from the prying eyes of the Guild's surveillance. As he waited in the shadows, the figure appeared, stepping into the moonlight. It was a face Miles recognized, one that shook him to his core. The mysterious ally was none other than the CEO of the company Miles worked for, a figurehead in the tech industry and a supposed supporter of the Walker's Guild. The CEO revealed a shocking truth. They had been working against the Guild from within, sabotaging their plans and providing covert support to resistance movements. The Guild's latest plan was more sinister than anything Miles had imagined, a complete overhaul of the stepcoin system to exert absolute control over the population. Armed with this new knowledge, Miles and the CEO devised a plan to infiltrate the Guild's headquarters and disable their control system, effectively freeing society from their grasp. It was a dangerous mission, one that would require all of Miles' courage and cunning, as they prepared to embark on their mission, the city around them was a battleground, the resistance clashing with the Guild's forces. The fate of society hung in the balance, the outcome hinging on Miles' actions. The night was tense as Miles and the CEO made their way to the Guild's headquarters, evading security checkpoints and surveillance. As they breached the building, they were met with resistance, but they fought their way through, driven by the hope of a better future. They reached the control room, a high-tech hub that was the nerve center of the Guild's operations. As they began to disable the system, an alarm blared, signaling that they had been detected. Security forces converged on their location, a desperate battle ensuing as Miles and the CEO fought to complete their mission. <laughs> With the system moments away from being disabled, the CEO was struck down, a casualty of the fierce combat. Miles, fueled by grief and determination, completed the task, shutting down the Guild's control system. 
As the system powered down, a wave of liberation swept through the city. The stepcoin economy collapsed, but in its place arose a new sense of freedom, a society no longer bound by the relentless pursuit of digital currency. Miles, though victorious, felt the weight of the sacrifices made. He had changed the world, but at great personal cost. As he looked out over the city, now free from the guild's control, he pondered the future. What would this new world look like? How would society rebuild from the guild's control? He pondered the future. What would this new world look like? How would society rebuild itself without the stepcoin system? He realized the journey ahead would be challenging, but it was a journey towards a more honest and equitable world. As the dawn broke over the city, the first in years without the shadow of the Walker's Guild, Miles felt a sense of hope. People emerged from their homes, no longer compelled to walk for their livelihood. Families reunited, friends embraced, and a collective sense of relief filled the air. But the victory was bittersweet. The collapse of the stepcoin system left the economy in disarray. Miles knew that the road to recovery would be long and fraught with obstacles. The society had to redefine its values, its very foundation of survival and prosperity. Amidst the celebration, Miles received a message from one of Ava's contacts, now released from confinement. It was a call to action, an invitation to join a council form to rebuild the society on new, equitable principles. Miles realized that his role in shaping this new world was just beginning. As he joined the council comprising individuals from all walks of life, he felt a renewed sense of purpose. They faced debates, disagreements and difficult decisions, but they were united in their vision of a world where no one had to walk endless miles just to survive. Months passed, and the city began to transform. Public spaces were redesigned not for maximizing steps, but for community and leisure. Technology, once used to track and monetize movement, was now repurposed to enhance quality of life and promote sustainability. Miles often thought of Elijah, the old man who had inspired him to question the status quo. He wondered what Elijah would think of this new world, one that had returned to walking for joy rather than necessity. But as Miles looked towards the future, he couldn't shake the feeling that the struggle was not entirely over. The remnants of the Walker's Guild were still out there, potentially plotting their return to power. He knew that vigilance was necessary to protect this hard-earned freedom. One evening, as Miles walked through a rejuvenated park, he noticed a figure watching him from a distance. A chill ran down his spine as he realized the fight against the remnants of the guild was far from over. As the figure disappeared into the night, Miles understood that this was just the beginning of a new chapter, one filled with uncertainties and challenges, but also hope and possibilities. The story of Miles and the fall of the Walker's Guild had become a tale of resilience and revolution, a testament to the human spirit's ability to overcome oppression. As he gazed at the stars above, Miles knew that his journey was far from over. The path ahead was uncharted, but he was ready to face whatever lay ahead, for the sake of a better, freer world. And so the story ends with Miles standing at the brink of a new era, the future unwritten but filled with potential. The legacy of the Stepcoin era was a reminder of the importance of questioning and challenging the systems that govern our lives. In a world where every step was once a currency, humanity had found its way back to a path of genuine progress and unity.